in the brewery, my sweet malty liquid, or wort, has been boiling away in the coppers and is now fully infused with those fragrant hops. But it's still not beer yet. To turn this wort into lager, we need yeast. Whoa. I'm meeting Steph Tunks in the project lab. Hello. Is that dry ice? Uh, this is liquid nitrogen and it's currently at about 196 degrees below zero. That's how we store our yeast. And I can't go anywhere near that, can I? Absolutely not. Not without some serious gloves on, yeah. Why do you store the yeast like that, please? Um, it's so we keep it in a stable state and to stop it from growing any more than we would need it to at this time. So we can keep it for long periods to use it whenever we need. Yeast is a living, single-cell organism. Without it, there's no alcohol, no fizz, and ultimately, no lager. How much yeast is in there right now? Uh, about 0.2 of a milliliter, so a tiny, tiny amount. Is that just a sample? No, this is will now propagate all of our yeast for the next six months. What? Absolutely. Sorry, I didn't mean to shout. <laughs> How is that possible? Um, I thought it was ridiculous, the amount of hops you were putting in. Just that little bit there. Yep. We'll That'll soon... keep you going for six months? Yep, it will soon multiply and become everything that we need within six months, given the right conditions. The yeast is grown in this 30 milliliter vial. Steph adds wort before mixing it all together. She then transfers 10 millilitres of the mix into this flask. The extracted yeast now has the food and space it needs to multiply. Is it extremely valuable? Absolutely. Without our yeast, we just we wouldn't have a brewery to go with. It's so valuable to us. It's the life and soul of our beer. As it grows, the yeast is transferred to increasingly larger containers, finishing up in this massive tank. It will continue to multiply until they have over a 1,000 kilograms of the stuff. 